Hi, my name's Jess and this is On Sweater Are You. Uh, given this is my first knitting podcast, I thought I would start by going through some of my proudest finished objects before going through my recently finished objects, my current whips and some new up yarn acquisitions. So I'm going to get started on that. This is my first one. This is the sweater number 18 by My Favourite Things Knitwear, knit in a Knitting for Olive heavy merino and soft silk mohair in the colour Rust. Um, I knit it in a size medium. Uh, I'll put my measurements in the uh, in, in the des description box below. Um, but for reference, I am five foot ten, so I'm pretty tall. Um, so this is this. I knit this probably two years ago now, um, and it's held up really well. But I'm really proud because it was my first real. Uh, like in the in the round like more complicated pattern. I had knit one jumper before this But uh, I've subsequently completely taken it out and I will go through that in a second uh, my second proudest make is This is the a hack of the Maud tee by Petite Knit um, in a drops cotton merino in the color um, One for the white color and three for the beige I think um, and I was really proud of this because this was a hack of the Maud tee and if you've been keeping an eye on Petite Knit you will know she's released the Elizabeth blouse genuinely two days after I finished and so this I had to work out how to do the decreases and I'd never done stripes and so I was just super excited about this um it's very hard to hold up because it's a bit saggy but yeah I really like this I think the drops yarn is very affordable and I Think it's a really good like mid-weight sweater for spring and autumn as we call it in Australia. Uh, my third proudest finished object I would say is the Ingrid sweater by Petite Knit. Um, I think it's just so snuggly and cute and this is knit in the Knitting for Olive soft silk mohair but the I've held it with a um, an alpaca yarn from my uh, my boyfriend's farm. They have alpacas, and this is from the yarn from one of the baby alpacas, whose name is Little Bear. So I will try and put a picture up of Little Bear, who's really cute. Well, she's not so little anymore, but this is that. Uh, oh, I'm not very good at sizes. This, I think I knit in a small, because I didn't want it to be too oversized. So the second size. Um, and last, I have to apologize because they're a bit gross, but I knit the spruce socks. I actually don't know who they're by, but I, uh, this is my first sock pattern and I've subsequently knit more socks and I, they're not, they're much better than this, but these are the spruce socks and they were just so fun. This was my first ever sock um, and they fit okay and they're not perfect and I knit them on double pointed needles of the wrong size so I don't really know how I managed to get to the end, but I'm very happy with them. I have absolutely no idea what the yarn is or, yeah, because I just got it from a shop near me, but those are those socks. So those would be my four proudest makes, I would say, at this point. Uh, my newest finished objects, over here, uh, I've got two. Uh, the first one is also a pair of socks. Um, this is the... I used the Crazy Sock Lady uh, Vanilla Socks on 9 inch circulars um, and this was the first socks I knit with those. These are for my partner. Um, I The differences, oops sorry I won't hold that in front of my mouth. The differences I would say are I did a 2x2 two two rib with uh, 20 rows of a 2x2 two two rib and then True Lane Knits I think did a mention that she did a 7x1 rib that I thought looked really nice so I did that too. <laughs> um, and then I started with a medium but his feet are a bit big, so then I sort of did a few extra rows on the heel flap and then the body of the sock. So the medium's 64 stitches, but I think the body of the sock I ended up doing 68 stitches. I just sort of didn't decrease as much from the doing the gusset. So yeah, two finished objects, and I did block them, but he has worn them, and also my sock blockers fit me, not him. So that's those. And last, and it's not blocked, I'll admit, uh, I genuinely finished this yesterday. Uh, this is the Oslo hat by Petite Knit. Oh, I didn't, anyway. The Oslo hat by Petite Knit in 
This is a Fibersmith yarn. Um, I think it's an, not Fibersmith, oh my goodness. No, the socks were Fibers, Fibersmith. This is Bond yarns. Um, I think it's the colorway Exterminate, which I think is really cute. Um, and I used genuinely basically the whole skein to make this. Um, and I think it's really cute, but I do need to block it. But that is the Oslo hat by Petite Knit. Um, yeah, I think I forgot to mention. These were in a Fibersmith sock yarn, um, which I really like. I think it's part uh, mostly merino, but I think it has some nylon on that. But yeah, definitely like that. Um, for my whips, I have a couple. So the one that I would say I've probably done the most on is the sweater number 15 by My Favourite Things Knit Fair, um, which I am knitting in the classic, the Knitting for Olive Dusty Artichoke uh, Merino and Soft Silk Mohair. Um, I've made quite a few changes here. I wanted, I wanted it to be a bit tighter than it was in the pattern. So I went a bit rogue and I reduced the number of purl stitches between each cable. Um, and then I've only, I've done it to a bit shorter than recommended. I've only done one sleeve so far. I've done it to a little bit shorter than recommended. And then I did a two by two rib down the bottom. Um, Cause I just, not a one by rib, I'm not a one by one rib girly. Um, and then on the sleeves, I picked up, oops, I picked up, I think the right number as per my size, and I knit a small, um, but I decreased every seven rows, um, and I just followed some instructions on how to decrease on the sleeves, so it looks a little bit funny if you're like looking um, at the actual sleeve, like it sort of goes from two cables into one cable into none, but given that's under the arm, I think it's probably going to be fine. Uh, I've got all the safety pins in here because after I watched the Crazy Sock Ladies video about doing that to remember the rows, um, I've decided it was the best thing ever and so I've been using it everywhere. <laughs> so those are so that when I knit the second sleeve I can do it the same. Um, but yeah, I'm loving this. I think it looks so cute and I'm very excited to finish it and try it on and, well, I've been trying it on, but finish it and wear it and have it be tried on and finished. So that's my first work in progress. Progress. Uh, my second one is another pair of socks in, I'm so excited about this. So I saw a video by Layla Makes on Instagram and she made a bucket bag knitting holder, whip bag. Oh my goodness, my brain's melted. Um, and I've, I've made a couple in my time, but I thought the bucket bag was so cute. So she had, she, I think she's going to release a free pattern, but I just mocked this up. Um, I think it's really cute. I used uh, a little label that says Alonzi or let's go. Um, and then it's got a drawstring and then I open it up. I'm sorry about the clanging. I have... Uh, one finished sock by the cra using the same crazy sock lady pattern. I did a one by one, one by one, ten row uh, rib, um, and then a sixty-four. I did the medium, so a sixty-four, and I've done contrast um, cuff, heel, and toe. Uh, I've got all the markers in, so I can match the second one. Um, yeah, I really like it. I've, this is now my third, and I guess I'm now on the fourth, and I'm definitely enjoying it. So I would recommend it if anyone's looking to try socks. Um, this is also using Fibersmith yarn. Uh, I've got very little information, <laughs> sorry. It's the, yeah, I don't think I have the tag. I always intend to keep them, but I don't. So yeah, I, it was a sock mini. I always hold that in front of my mouth. A sock mini for the contrast, I have not weaved it in the ends, and then uh, like a nice green, sort of, it's a little bit, it's got a bit of colour variation. And so then my other whip is the other sock. So I'm actually pretty, I'm actually pretty close. Uh, my train got delayed today, so I spent a lot of time knitting. <laughs> and then, there we go. So yeah, I've 
I'm sort of halfway down the foot. So that'll be good. I've got lots of sock plans. So yeah, that's another finished object. Oh, uh, another work in progress. Whoops. Uh, my third, if I just grab it. Oh, my third, I do have the tag, so I'll tell you what the yarn is. This is also Fiber Smith. I went to, they had a warehouse sale. So I went there and I got a bit excited and I bought some hand dyed yarns and I think they're beautiful. So this is their Lemonade Four Ply Merino, which is 100% superwash, extra fine Australian merino, uh, in a four, which is a four ply or fingering weight. And they said 100 grams is about approximately 400 meters. And I think it is beautiful. And this is the color Burnt Terracotta. So that's that. And I am knitting the My Favorite Things Knitwear. Um, my favorite things knitwear, camisole number nine. Um, and I'm getting there. I have got, it's connected, and I've got about, I don't know, three centimeters under the arm. So still a ways to go. Wow, that's the worst way of showing anyone anything. It's about three centimeters. Um, still a ways to go, but I am in general a English style knitter. Um, just how I learn, what I do, and I am attempting when I'm knitting in the round on stockinette because I feel like I've got a couple of different stockinette projects. I am attempting to knit continental just to learn and try something new and see how I go. And the tension for the first row was terrible. Like I don't know if you can see, there's like one row that just looks super weird. Um, but other than that, it's actually been okay. I've, I'm pretty, feeling pretty proud of myself. So that's camisole number nine. Um, I've got quite a lot left of this ball. Um, and then I think I've seen lots of people, you finish the first ball and then you do the like armhole and neck edges. So I think I might do that too before I, with the beginning of the second skein, before I use it to finish the bottom. Um, I'm so excited about this. I genuinely think I bought it as soon as it came out, this pattern. And I really like the way it's knitting up with this color. I think it'll just, look lovely. Um, so I'm excited about that. And the last whip, and I have to admit that I have probably one or two other whips that are just, I started and then I had something else, like I, I started this when I had them and they got left behind. I started the beanie because I wanted to finish it for a trip later this month, this month, yeah. Um, so a couple of my other whips are in hibernation. But this is Keep it in a bowl for no apparent reason but this is the petite knit elizabeth blouse and it's not blocked and it's actually oh yeah it's on i needed the needles so it's just on held on held on stitch holders um but this is the elizabeth blouse wow i don't even know if i can show you it at all there you go so i've done the collar and the yoke and i've just nearly finished the body, the, not the body, the yoke, and I need to split and remove the sleeves, or split the sleeves. Um, this is in a Wool in the Gang Sugar Baby Alpaca in the colour Earthy Orange that I bought mid-Covid, like early 2020. And I have subsequently knit it into two different jumpers. So I have to admit, it's, the, it's, a much, it's much pinker than it's coming up. Um, yeah, that color is not the color. Yeah, mm, that color is not really accurate, but you do what you can. Um, yeah, so I initially knit it into the Rosary Apparel jumper. Uh, she made a jumper and she released the pattern for free. So I knit it into that. And although it was beautiful, it was just completely the wrong yarn. It was my first jumper ever. And it just like, it was so saggy. Um, Cause it's a all over lace pattern. And it was beautiful, but so I knit that and then I took it completely out in 2021 and I knit it into something else, which was also beautiful. And it had a sort of a cable triangle situation. I'll try and I'll pop some pics in if I can find them. Um, and that was beautiful, but the sleeves were too short. I just didn't really like it or wear it. So attempt number three, and I can tell I've gotten better at like splicing ends together because <laughs> I, across 
ends that I clearly spliced in pr like previous times I knit it and they are rough but the yarn is actually doing okay for being knit three times um, I unravel it and sort of anti-block it um, in chunks so that's all I have wound up at the moment and uh, there's some that's still left oh, I'll probably put it yeah. So that was, I guess, the back. Still knit up. Mm -hmm. Okay, my phone died, but I'm hoping it will be okay. So, I think I just got this out. Um, so this is the cable pattern. And I haven't taken it out yet, um, but I think it is beautiful. And I think that yeah, although it's beautiful, I just, it's not really my style, to be honest. Although I do like a cable. I don't know. Um, and I just wasn't wearing it. And I just wasn't, wasn't willing to make any major changes. So I ended up just deciding to frog it and knit it into the Elizabeth blouse. Which, admittedly, my mum is knitting too. So I think it's cute and we can sort of work on that together. And yeah, that's really nice. I like that. Um, so those are my active whips, I would say, the Elizabeth blouse being the least active of those. Um, so now I thought I would just briefly go through some recent yarn acquisitions. So obviously with my first video, they're all new because I haven't ever made a video before, but I didn't want to go through every yarn I've ever bought because that would be a bit nuts. So I'll just, yeah, I'll go through these ones that I'm excited about. Um, I have, I have four. Well, kind of. Okay, I have no idea where that stopped. So, this yarn is from Bombed Yarns, and it is uh, their. They've called it. They call it their Dynamic Sock Four Ply. It's seventy-five percent superwash merino, twenty-five percent nylon, four hundred and twenty-five meters per hundred grams. And this is one of a one-of-a-kind colorway, and I thought it was beautiful, and I was so excited. Because they had, oh, they have, I'm gonna drop this, they have sock buddies, that's what they call them. Same content, 84 meters in a 20 gram skein. Um, and I thought they looked really cute together. So I thought I would make a little pair of socks and they would be cute. So that's my one of my first acquisitions. Um, yeah, the other yarn I got from there was the yarn to make the beanie. And I'm on a hand-dyed yarn kick at the moment, and I'm loving it. Um, being a proper adult is quite fun. By which I mean someone not at uni. My next acquisition is the Knitting for Olive Compatible Cashmere in navy, which matches my shirt. Helpful. Um, it is 187 metres and 25 grams. Um, and I actually ordered this at the same time I got the Knitting for Olive Dusty artichoke, merino, and mohair. But I'm really excited. I want to knit this into um, the naked top, I think it's called, or the casual top by Naked Knit, uh, which is just it's sort of like a tank top. Honestly, it's going to look very similar to the shirt I'm currently wearing, but rather than being sewn, it will be knit. So I think it's beautiful, and I really like um, I really like navy. So I think that's very nice, and it was a bit of a splurge, but. I was excited about it. And last but not least, uh, I picked this up in Hobart again. Um, I can't actually remember where from, but this is the Erica Knight Studio Linen, and it's 85% um, viscose, 15% linen, 120 meters uh, per 50 grams. I got two balls, so I am hoping that's enough. Um, I think it's beautiful. It's not dissimilar. It's sort of in a similar vein, it's a little bit greyer than the Knitting for Olive Dusty Artichoke. Um, but I am hoping to make the hoping to make the double crossed top. Um, I can't is it by I don't remember who it's by, but I will hopefully write that down too. Um, so I'm gonna try that. I wanna do a provisional cast on with one of the balls and like and do a little bit and then do all of the makings of the top and then 
knit down for as much as I have because I don't have as much as I think the pattern says but I also happy to wear a cropped top so I think it's beautiful. So that's my last um, yarn acquisition that I thought I would show you guys. Um, but yeah, so that is all I have for now. Hopefully that all filmed okay and the sound is okay and my AirPods are okay. They were a bit funny at the end there, so hopefully that all went fine. Um, so yeah, I don't know when I'll come back. Uh, hopefully, uh, I'm hoping to film these around every two weeks, but though it feels like I'm knitting, I've knit a lot recently, I don't know if I'll manage to keep that up. And also, I don't know, I definitely have have watched videos of people who can knit who knit just vastly faster and more than I can so I yeah I'm not expecting to have that much progress but I do sit down and knit most evenings while we watch tv so that's kind of bad it's that kind of excuse me so there is that um thank you much so much for watching if you were and uh I guess subscribe if you'd like to see what else is happening on Sweater Avenue I do knit and sew so so um but I haven't been doing I haven't been doing much sewing recently. It's got a much higher activation energy than knitting. Um, and so, yeah, but um, yeah, and hopefully we'll see you in two weeks or so. Bye.